Hi, welcome back. This is going to be the last video, apart from my recap one, in the slow motion tutorial series. Okay, so here we're going to create a HUD where the player will be able to see how much power level they have remaining when slowing down time. First, we're going to go back to our blueprint, which is in the first person BP folder, and then blueprint, and then first person character. Okay, as you can see, I actually made a change here, this power region. We want to eliminate the branch that was here, the if statement, and set it to just call this timer constantly. And then when we go to power regen, we want to put the branch here, which checks if time is being slowed down or not. This is only because when the event starts, it will see if time is being slowed down or not, which it isn't. And then we'll call the set timer continuously so that even when time is being slowed down, the timer is still being called because it's already checked the branch. So we have to change that to put it here so that this doesn't happen and the character cannot regenerate power when time is being slowed down. So it's just letting you know that, but we actually don't need those blueprints for this one. Instead we want to go here to the blueprints folder, right click, go to user interface and add a widget blueprint. And I'm just going to call it power widget. And we're going to load that up by left clicking on it twice. Okay, so here this is your screen. As you can see, it's actually set to 1280 by 720 or an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. This will scale up on 16 to 9 displays, as most displays are an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. We're just going to leave it like this. And the 1280 by 720 is just giving you a representation of the space on a 1280 by 720 screen. So you can really just leave it. Okay, so to your left, you'll see this palette and it have these four drop down menus we want to go to common and we want this progress bar so just simply drag and drop place it where you want it and scale it out a bit okay if you go to your right you can see it actually has some stats here so I'm going to set the size X which is its horizontal size to 350 just to make that a bit neater and these are its positions values so I can set that to 30 and 30 and it'll set that to 30 30 there okay now if we go to percent I'm gonna have it set to 100% and that is so I can see what color it will actually be colored in if you go to the one below the percentage here this is the color you can have it uh, so I might give it a nice yellow feeling. And go back to percent. Now we need to create a binding so that it will actually fill up or deeply depending on how much power the user has left. But I'm actually going to go to the top here and I'm going to change its name to Power Progress. Now we go to this drop menu, back at percent, go from bind create binding and it will return this. So this is a blueprint for the actual progress bar. Now to get back to the HUD designer you just want to go up to here to designer and then graph is the blueprints. Okay so this percentage bar we have right here actually only has a value between 0 and 1.0. So we have to actually change the value of our power level to get its percentage. Now whilst I've only gone from 0 to 100 for our power level, because I was doing it in terms of percentage, all we really have to do is get that value and divide it by 100. So we want to right click and we want to get player character. And this will get the character that the player is controlling on this machine. And we want to cast to first person character, this one. And we need to set these up so it calls us first. And we're going to go for that. So what this is going to do is going to get the player's character. And it's going to check the first person character class. So when we go as first person character here. We drag it off to place a new node. And we get power level. That is our power variable. It will get the power level of the player's character. And it can call this because this character, the first person character class is being referenced by this. Okay, and then we want to just 
do float divided by float divided by 100 and as you can see this outputs a float which is what we want because it's between 0 and 1 place that in there and now there you have it that is how you get the percentage value so if we compile that that's all compiled but if you notice when you press play there's no HUD there's no bar it's not there that's because now we need to get the game mode to actually call it so if we go back to our default screen on the first person example map mind sculpt here and go to first person game mode and we open that blueprint it will come up with this now this is because there's no blueprints in the actual blueprint right now it just has a couple of classes it needs to spawn and all that so we want to open the full blueprint editor and we want to right click and get the event begin play so that as soon as the game starts playing we're going to create this HUD okay and we want to get a create widget it's just going to create the widget we have already made by going to this class drop down and choose your widget now it'll be the one you've named so power widget and we want to add to viewport You want to get the return value of the widget and place it into the target. So that's telling the game to add this to the viewport, otherwise, it's telling the game to add the game to the viewport, which doesn't really make any sense. So we'll compile that and we'll play it. Is that, now you can you see it's in the top left. Okay, so when we slow down time. As you can see it begins to decrease over time and then when we go out of time it'll increase again back to normal. Now as you can see there was actually quite a slow bit there and that is because on the power regen we're just constantly adding 5 which is not good so we want to add a new branch. Okay so this we're just polishing up a few things this could work normally fine, but we want it just between 0 and 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my power level. I'm going to do float is greater than or equal to 100. I'm actually going to do 96. And we want this set to false. If it's false, then add 5. However, if this is true, and the reason of the 96 is because we want to just set it to 100. Because at 96, if you add 5, it would go to 101. So we might as well just include that to go to 100. If you want to be really pedantic, you could really actually go 95, and that way nothing will ever go wrong. So we compile that, we'll play. And then, as you can see, the time is now decreasing at a normal rate. Now we'll wait for this to run out. And everything's back to normal, and now my power is refilling. Okay, and see when it's that normal, I can't activate my slow motion. I have to wait until it's done. Okay, so that is how to create a very simple HUD to display your power level. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If your feelings are otherwise or you have any questions or advice, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks. Bye.